For this worked example, we will have two virtual machines, both on the same domain. One is a SQL server and the other will be the modeler server. Firstly, we will launch SQL Server Management Studio from the modeler server to ensure that we can log in to the SQL Server using our Windows credentials. From the modeler server, the user can log in to the SQL Server using their Windows username. At this stage, we can see that there are no modeler databases on the SQL Server. There could be other databases unassociated with modeler already on this machine. We will now launch the modeler installation on the modeler server. Some parts of this video have been edited out where no user interaction is taking place to keep the video down to a reasonable size and length. A server only installation has been selected but we will add the model editor so that we can show later the fully installed system working and also it's useful sometimes for administration purposes to be able to run the editor on the server machine. A pop-up dialog warns us that Word has not been installed. We can add this later. Initially, only a SQL Server instance local to this modeler server machine can be seen. So we shall add the instance on the SQL Server that we looked at earlier, exactly as shown in the SQL Server Management Studio. Now that the installation has been completed, we need to add a valid license so that we can use Windchill Modeler. This is done using the Windchill Modeler License Manager. The Replace option is selected to replace any existing out-of-date license or to add a new license if there isn't one that already exists. The license manager will then offer to restart the service to read the new license. Once this is completed, a dialog will be displayed showing that the service has been restarted successfully and the new license is available. We can now use the SQL Server Management Studio to see that there are now two modeler databases installed, examples and models. We can now open the model explorer and add the instance for the SQL server that we've just installed. The model explorer is where new modeler databases should be created. We can see the two modeler databases, neither of which have been bookmarked yet, so we will bookmark both of those. Then we can expand the examples database and select one of the models to check that everything is working correctly. Here we've chosen to open the HSUV model. We can expand some of the packages here, look at some of the items and open one of the diagrams. So everything seems to be working in our new installation. I hope this video has been useful and thank you for watching.